What is the master key in Jenkins Secrets? When you're creating Jenkins credentials, those credentials are being encrypted with a secret. So where does that secret live and how do you understand how to use it? Let's go ahead and take a look at the documentation that covers all of this. What we can see here is the encryption of secrets and credentials. Jenkins uses AES to encrypt and protect secrets, credentials, and their respective encryption keys. All of these keys are stored in Jenkins Home secrets along with the master key used to protect said keys. So what does all of this mean? Well, if we take a look here, there is a directory that should be configured so that only the operating system user and the Jenkins controller running as that user has read and write access to that directory. In other words, use a schmod of 700 against that directory or however you want to go ahead and lock it down. So let's go over to a controller and take a look at how this is set up. I've SSH'd into my controller. I'm inside of my Jenkins home directory. So if I go ahead and list this out, we can see my secrets directory. If we take a look at the ownership on the secrets directory, it is owned by Jenkins. My process runs as Jenkins. And notice here that I've got a 700 ownership on this directory. Again, going back to our documentation, we wanna make sure it's at least a 700. Then within this folder, there is a file called master.key. Now, in order to encrypt, you've got to have a key out in the open so that the encryption works. So that means this key is setting in the clear on our file system. So if we go ahead and take a look at this example, I'll CD into secrets. And what we'll see inside of this directory is I have a handful of items. I have my Hudson Util secret, crumb salt, but the file we're looking for is master key. So when this controller started up, and the Jenkins home directory was created, this secrets directory along with the master key was created. So if I was to simply cat out my master key, this master key is specific to this controller. So although you're seeing this secret key right now, this is just a temporary Jenkins controller. All of this is being deleted as soon as I finished recording. So we can see here, everything is in the clear, but think about this for just a second. I need to protect this key because if I, as an attacker have access to this master key, then I could go ahead and extract out all the other credentials. So I have to protect this master key at all cost. Again, this takes us back to the ownership. Right now, the process runs as Jenkins. I can see my ownership 644 is completely okay. And if I go up a level, I can also see, again, that my secrets directory is owned by just the user Jenkins. But what happens when I back up the Jenkins home directory? Well, I want to make sure that I go ahead and exclude my master key file from my backups, but that also means that I need to save that master key file off somewhere else, put it in a secret store of myself. Maybe I'm using a password manager or some other way of managing that secret. That master key file basically needs to end up in a safe, whether that's a physical safe or a virtual safe, your choice but backing up that master key and having it ready. So in case that you have to do a restore of your Jenkins home directory, what would happen is you would extract out your Jenkins home directory, go and grab the contents of your master.key file, and then bring that back in, put it into your Jenkins home directory. And then you would be able to go ahead and restart up your Jenkins controller. You want to make sure that you always protect this master.key file at all costs. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.